Uh, let's talk here about DJ Chark because I agree with you that Nick Foles overall is an upgrade for this offense, and he really did look towards DJ Chark's way really often. And we know Chark has talents. Name that salary for DJ Chark next week against Tennessee in what is probably not going to be a high-scoring game, but it isn't going to be <clears throat> as bad as it would have been back when the Titans were doing whatever it was they were doing with Marcus Mariota at quarterback. Yeah, so the the matchup in game environment doesn't seem to be great, uh, but the number that I had in my head was between 68 and 7,000, so I'll split the difference and say 6,900. Nice. I think that I would probably be like 67 just because the game environment is annoying. And I do, I do value that more at, at wide receiver and quarterback than any other position. So I think that that's the main concern from a role perspective. He's awesome. And he's upgraded to $7,000 for next week. I think that's appropriate. Um, like, I think that we can still use him at that number. I agree with your assessment, though, of the other guys, too, because Chris Conley is 57, and he's getting high leverage work, whereas D.D. Westbrook is not. And so Chris Conley, I think, deserves to be second on this list. Westbrook is $5,300. It's a very low salary, but I think that Conley is at least an option.